नमस्ते वेलकम टू उत्सव योगा माई नेम इज जीत एंड आई एम अ प्रोफेशनल योगा टीचर तो टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू आरम्भ आर सेशन आरम द बिगिनर्स प्रोग्राम सो एज अ बिगिनर इन आर माइंड देर आर सो मैनी क्वेश्चन दैट वाई वेन एंड हाउ एज वाई शुड वी प्रैक्टिस योगा द मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंट एस्पेक्ट ऑफ योगा इज in other workouts we can see that we are continuously doing practice one way but in yoga we are doing dynamic movement we are moving our body here and there in each and every side twisting bending and these kind of movements we do that is why we should do yoga second question is when when should we practice yoga so the best time of practicing yoga is in the morning but yes if you don't have time in the morning so you can also practice yoga in the evening at least you will take 3 hours gap between your meal and practice and the third question is how so how will we practice yoga so today as we are going to perform the yoga practice in the beginner level so we will tell you that how to practice yoga as a beginner so let's get started so first of all be seated in a simple cross leg position so sit like this gently and you can keep your palms on top of your knees like this and we need to make a gyan mudra like this we'll touch our index finger tip with the tip of our thumb and placing on our knees so keep your shoulders open and relax keep your neck straight and close your eyes first of all take few breath in and out breathe in and out now gently join your palms together and make a namaskar mudra and now we will chant one time om together please deep breathe in om now kindly repeat the mantra after me सर्वे भवन्तु सुखिनः सर्वे सन्तु निरामया सर्वे भद्राणी पश्यन्तु मा कश्चिद दुख भाग भवे Now gently rub your palms together generate some heat and gently touch your face and eyes and feel the warmth of your palm and slowly drop your palms again on your knees now from here gently take your arms up and make sure that your arms should be side of the ears straight we are not taking our head back not too much forward but we are keeping our head in between of our arms keep your fingers open and engaged now slowly interlock your fingers like this and now place your palms over your crown now from here slowly breathe in and stretch your arms like someone is pulling you up stretch your arms up and with exhalation again bring back your palms over your crown again stretch your arms up and exhale bring it down breathe in again and stay here you can hold your breath here for 3 to 5 seconds 5 4 3 2 and one exhale down and simply drop your palms on your knees again 
Now again, slowly breathe in and take your arms up. And with exhalation, simply put your right palm on your right side on the ground. Keep your fingers open so that you can maintain your balance here. And you need to keep your left hand over to your ear so that you can feel the stretch over here. And if you have any kind of neck pain, so you need to look at your friend. Otherwise, you can look up. Stay here, please, for three counts. Breathe in with slow and steady breath. You can feel the passive stretch on your left side of the torso. Three, two, and one. Now let's bring this stretch to the next level by dropping your right forearm on the ground. And again, try to look up. Three. Normal breathing, please. Two. And one. Now slowly lift your forearm up. And right hand up in the air. Similarly, we will repeat this on our left side. Inhale here, please. And exhale. Simply drop your left palm on the ground. Keep your fingers firm on the ground and right hand over to your ears look at your right side up towards the sky simply breathe in and breathe out the stretch is going from your waist to your torso here stay here for three count three two and one again drop your left forearm on the ground and hold on again for three count three two one again lift your forearm up and left hand up in the air breathe in and with exhale Put your right palm on your left knee and take your left hand around your waist and if possible try to grab your right thigh as you can see mine and try to look back. Stay there. Breathe in and out. You can feel the twist on your spine and hence you can feel some difficulty while breathing make sure that your chin and shoulder should be aligned to get maximum stretch on your spine five four three two one if you are not able to grab your thighs so you can simply hold your hand like this Now again breathe in, up your arms, we're slowly breathing out, put your left palm on your right knee and take your right hand around your waist, again you have choice, if you can grab your thighs like this, you can, otherwise you can just hold it like this, again twist your upper body and try to look back, breathe in and out please. The twisting of spine is very important part in yoga because most of the time we do forward and backward bend. So this is very rare. That is why we should include twisting in our yogic session. Three, two, and one. Breathe in, release your arms and take them up in the air. And breathe out, put your palms on your knees. Now let's do some work on our spine again. Breathe in and try to expand your chest and shoulders. And look up. Make an arch in your spine. With breathe out, make a hunch. And look down. Breathe in. Make an arch again, look up. 
Breathe out. Look down. Make sure while going down if you have again any kind of neck pain you have so you can look front instead of looking down. Now breathe in again. Breathe out down. Now breathe in, look at your front please. Now here, rotate your neck clockwise. Remember, whenever you are taking your neck up, we need to inhale. As the neck is coming down, we need to exhale. So try to synchronize your breath with the movement of your neck while moving or rotating your neck keep your neck relaxed three four five now similar thing but in anti-clockwise rotation breathe in take your head up breathe out take your head down one two three four and far very good well done now we need to look at here that we need to sit into dandasana or base position it is known as dandasana because we need to straight our spine as a dand or stick so keep your spine straight like this now we will bend our right leg like this and try to interlock your fingers under your sole of the foot. Keep your spine straight and shoulders open. And one more thing. We know that we are not working with our left leg here. But yes, we need to keep it engaged and activated. So stay here please. Inhale here. Now exhale and try to stretch your leg. So, if you can straight your leg, that is very good thing, like this. But if you are a totally beginner, so yes, you can just hold it here as well. So that you will get a little bit stretch on your leg. Now take it back. Inhale here. Exhale, try to stretch your leg as much as possible. Inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, hold on here and just stay for three count, three, two and one. Now right here, bend your right leg and put it on your left side like this, got it. All right, now put your right palm behind your back and lift your left hand up. Now with a slow exhalation, put your left elbow on your knee like this. And now twist with the help of your elbow and try to look back. Breathe in and breathe out. Three. Two and one. Very good. Very nice. Now again lift your left hand up and exhale. Drop it down. Release your right leg. You can shake your leg a little bit to relax this. Similarly, bend your right leg, please. Very good. Interlock your fingers here and place them under your sole of the foot. Again, make sure that whenever you are straightening your leg 
or stretching them so don't make a hunch like this keep your spine straight and although your legs will go up to here so this is also fine that's not an issue so bend your leg stay here breathe in and breathe out breathe in breathe out breathe in breathe out hold on here please three two one bend your leg and similarly put your foot on your right side but we need to put our left palm behind our back and keep your right leg activated now slowly breathe in and lift your right hand up in the air with slow exhalation try to put your right elbow on your left side of your knee and just try to look back on your left side again you can feel that stretch or twist in your spine and you will feel a little bit difficulty while breathing but this is very good stretch for your spine and that is also very good for our pancreas stay here please 5 4 3 and 1 try to look at your friend breathe in and lift your right hand up breathe out simply put it down release your left leg and slowly shake this leg and now coming back to table top pose so in table top pose first of all try to drop your elbow down near to your knee like this now you have got the point where you need to place your palm here so lift your forearm and elbow up and make sure that your wrist should be underneath your shoulders and your knee should be underneath your hip remember this alignment and keep your palms up to shoulder level width apart and knees up to hip level width apart keep your spine neutral now slowly breathe in and make an arch in your spine try to look up with exhalation make an arch breathe in breathe out when we are breathing in we can make an perfect arch in our spine when we are breathing out we are pressing our palms on the ground so that we can make a proper hunch in our upper back breathe in again and breathe out breathe in and breathe out breathe in and here kindly lift your right hand up like this inhale and exhale slowly put your right hand under your left hand and drop your shoulder down and stabilize yourself here and then lift your left hand up try to look at your left palm stay here for three counts here three keep breathing two and one now again drop your left palm on the ground push it and withdraw your right hand in here exhale slowly drop it on your mat similarly lift your left hand up breathe in and take your left hand under your right hand like this slowly try to drop your shoulder on the ground stabilize yourself lift your right hand up breathe in and breathe out please three two 
वन नाउ अगेन प्लेस योर राइट पाम ऑन द ग्राउंड पुशिंग इट ऑन द ग्राउंड इनहेल अप लिफ्ट योर लेफ्ट हैंड अप एंड पुश इट ऑन द ग्राउंड होल्ड ऑन हियर प्लीज इनहेल एंड एक्सेल नाउ जॉइन योर टूस टुगेदर एंड कीप योर हिप ओवर योर हील्स एंड ट्राई टू ड्रॉप योर फॉरहेड डाउन चाइल्ड पोज और बालासन relax your arms on the ground breathe in and breathe out now breathe in again come up to table top separate your toes lift your right leg up in the air keep it straight here now breathe in please and bend your leg try to look up with breathing out try to touch your knees on your nose if possible if not possible just you can try here but with this movement we need to maintain our balance so keep your fingers open on the ground inhale lift your leg up and head up breathe out and again knees to no breathe in up and breathe out need to know and hold on here for three count three two and one with breathing in take your leg up make an arch in your spine singhasana three two one slowly drop your right knee on the ground now similarly we need to lift our left leg point your toes please here inhale maintain your balance bend your left leg and try to look up with exhalation try to touch your knee to your nose again breathe in and breathe out knee to nose breathe in leg up head up and arch in your spine breathe out hold on here three Two and one. Breathe in up. Three, two, one. Drop your knee down. Keep your spine neutral now. Stay here, please. Inhale. Exhale. Now inhale and bring your left foot in between of your palms. And I know, as a beginner, we have a stiff hip muscles and thigh muscles so you will not be able to touch your palms like this so for that you can make a cup of your finger as well here right but again in this posture again you can't hold on or you can't go in this pose so you can simply come here like this all right now make sure that your knee and heel should be aligned like this your knees are not hyper extending your toes all right so now slowly breathing in try to take your arms up in the air now exhale take your hands right and left side again breathe in and with breathing out turn to your left side and maintain your balance here look at your left palm breathe in and breathe out and if you are not able to maintain your balance you can drop your right forearm like and hold on here 3 2 inhale here again with exhalation drop your right palm exactly near to your left foot and take your left hand up straight to get your left palm 3 2 and 1 exhale lower your left palm take your left leg back and stay here <laughs> breathe in and out and 
again breathe in and similarly bring your right foot in between of your palms you can stay here like this again don't forget the alignment of your heels and your knees and elevating your arms and shoulders up breathe in and breathe out take your hands right and left side opening your thoracic and chest inhale and exhale turn to your right side maintaining your balance or you, either you can take the support of your forearm by placing it on your right knee hold on try to look back 3 2 and 1 inhale here and exhale similarly put your left palm exactly near to your right foot and lift your right hand up stay here for three counts here here you can feel that stretch on your right glutes muscles on your quadriceps and stay here three two and one exhale Bring your right palm on the ground. Take your right leg back. And slowly go down to child's pose. Keep your toes together and hip over your heels. Try to drop your forearms and forehead down. Relax here please. Five. Four. Three, two, one. Now slowly come up, breathe in again to tabletop pose. Stay in tabletop pose, please. And gently place your toes on the ground like this. And try to lift your knees up and hip up. So here you can see that your tailbone is facing towards the sky. And if possible, you can drop your heels on the ground. And if this is not possible, you can lift your heels up like this. And you can bend your knees a little bit. But make sure that your spine should be lengthened and straight. Don't make a hunch like this okay so keep it straight and you can bend your knees and you can lift your heels like stay here you can look in between of your palms again drop your knees on the ground inhale look up exhale go back inhale up exhale go back while going back you can feel that stretch coming upward from your calf muscles to your hamstring to your glutes inhale drop your knee down look up and exhale again lifting your hip up to mountain pose inhale come up and exhale go back hold on here three two one slowly drop your knees down and sit in vajrasana keep your spines and neck straight breathe in breathe out straight your arms and place your forehead on the ground inhale and exhale And now you can grab your sole of the foot or heels. Five, four, three, two. One, 
Now gently come up and try to sit in simple cross leg position. And now keep your spine and neck straight and close your eyes. Turn your palms together with And let's chant one time Om and three time Shantihi together with me. Breathe in, please. Shantihi. 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 Slowly rub your palms, generate some heat, and touch your whole body. Again, rub your palms, please. And gently cover your face and eyes and feel the warmth of your palm. Feel the self-love. And slowly place your right palm over to your left. And for female practitioner, you can place your left palm over to your right. And for male, right palm over to your left. And join your thumbs together and stay here. So this was all about the Aram, the beginner's session. So if you feel any kind of difficulty, it is the part of the journey because whenever we start any journey, we feel some obstacles, some problem. But the only key to continue in yoga is Satu Dirghikal Nairantarya Satkara Sevito Dridbhumi. This is the definition of Abhyasa, that we need to do it with long time of period with continuity so this is all about this so continue this practice with me thank you very much hari om tat sat